All right, this is Nate with Stray Blogger, and this is going to be training number one. And this training is on choosing a niche. Like I said in the last video, this is by far the most important part of making a niche website. If you choose a niche that's too broad, has too much competition, um, you can spend a lot of hours and a lot of work for nothing because if there's established websites out there with a lot of backlinks and rank already ranking in the top 10 results in Google um, pretty much nothing you can do is is gonna get you above ranked above those sites so that's where keyword research comes into play and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do um, okay the concept of money keywords uh, if you look below this video you'll see a chart and uh, this this chart is from niche profit classroom um, the niche profit Cla classroom was a a training site that I had joined um, a couple years ago that really got me <clears throat> the, the first sites that I made money with like I said was a uh, well it was two um, information product sites that I had set up but I really I liked the idea of somehow I got you know the idea in my head about um, small niche websites where you know you either have a product created or you just run affiliate offers on the sites and so somehow I came across niche profit classroom and joined that uh, joined that site and that really got me to basically what I do now is you know churn out a new niche site every month or so um, so anyways that's where this keyword chart comes from and as you can see down the left side of the chart it's uh, that's the number of searches per month and you want to do that you when you open Google's keyword tool um, you want to sort by phrase phrase match um, exact match is is too restrictive and Broad match is too broad, so phrase match gives you the best um, real indication. That, that's what I always use. And then for competing websites, uh, that's that's along the top right or from left to right across the chart. That's the number of results that gets returned if you type in your keyword or your keyword phrase into regular Google inside of quotes. And so you can see that. Um, how it ranges from jackpot in the bottom left to poor to the top right and um, you you want to aim for especially your main keyword what you're gonna you know make your domain into like uh, organic dog treats dot com or whatever you want that to fall within ideally excellent um, that is tough to find but you can do it and then you know the rest of your keywords uh, you want at least to fall under good uh, you can do fair you know if you were if you were gonna if you're building a site around something that you something you're interested in and you really like and you're planning on building it out to be an authority site then anything that falls under fair is really good for you know supporting pages or like tier three um, pages so I already went over the keyword chart. Like I said, you want to find a word that falls within excellent or good. And uh, to find these money keywords, a really good strategy is, well, first of all, if there's something that you're interested in or something that you like or a hobby that you have, you need to try a whole bunch of variations of keywords that have to do with that. Because if you can find, you know, keywords that, that rate as excellent or good according to this chart that is that's something that you already know something about um, that just makes this whole process a lot easier so start start with that you know type of thing and then another way you can do keyword research is to go to amazon.com and uh, you can click on the I mean you can look all over the site and try to find niches and you know then plug it into keyword tool and and try to gauge demand and competition but what what I like to do is click on books 
so that you're only in the books category and then just drill down into all the categories and subcategories and if you find um, you know for example uh, I was looking the other day in um, like or the the category on the left side of the page was organic gardening or something like that and then you go through the you just filter through the books and look at all the titles um, because not all of them are about they're just they're in that category but they're not all about organic gardening so I, I started finding things like how to build a compost heap with worms and stuff and there was like a surprising number of searches for that every month and not that much competition so that's kind of that's a great way of finding these niches well that's actually exactly what I do to find niches I, I use Amazon doing exactly what I just said um, like I said you use the Google keyword tool to do this you use phrase match you want to find something that has I would say at least especially to find your main keyword um, that you base the whole site around or keyword phrase that you'll put in your domain name uh, I would say you want to f nothing less than a thousand phrase match searches a month just start from there that way you know you're trying to find something with under 10,000 or under 20,000 um, competing websites and to gauge competition you just use regular Google and you put your keyword phrase in quotes and the number of um, results that get returned you know is then you just look at the chart and see where that's at the, re the reason I like this a lot is uh, um, you know on, on some things I've read or that you've probably read too it says to use uh, like an all-in title search where you're trying to find pages that have your exact key phrase in the title so that you know that page is optimized for that the, the thing that I don't really like about that is I don't know it gives you this false sense of oh there's only two or three thousand pages that are optimized for my keywords but if you can find um, some pages or a, a keyword phrase just in quotes in regular Google that land, that hits as excellent or good on this chart, um, it is just it is so easy to rank for these keywords. I, I just think that this gives you a better indication. It it is harder to find keywords that that fall within good or excellent on this chart but if you take the time and the and the work to find these I it makes everything or it makes just this whole process of making money with a niche site I mean I would say I would say it makes it very easy in some cases if you'll put in the time to find a niche that falls within good or excellent on this uh, chart it, you know it'll change the way you think about how easy it is to make money online so, um, I already said this, your, your main phrase should fall within excellent on the chart, ideally. If you can't, then good is still, I mean, it's good for a reason. It'll still be fairly easy to rank on the top ten. Um, then the last word of advice, you, uh, if you find one that is like that, you don't want to choose a niche yet because you need to find, you know, a niche or at least what you're aiming for is five keywords or five keyword phrases that all rank at least good that way you can at least build a five page mini niche blog um, you know so if you found uh, the idea is you want to find five keyword phrases so that you have five pages that are each pulling in between um, at least 500 unique visitors a month so you know, five times five hundred is twenty five hundred. If you're getting twenty five hundred uh, unique visitors a month to your niche site, you're going to do fine. I mean, one site won't replace your income or anything, but I mean, it'll be making you, you know, a couple hundred to a couple thousand a month, and you just you know keep building these sites is kind of the idea. So choose a niche that has five keyword phrases um, that at least rank good on this chart. And so just work on that. If this takes you two weeks to do that step, then, then so be it. But it will be well worth your time.